Welcome to our lecture online. In our next example dealing with depreciation, we're going to go to Farmer John's farm. And Farmer John buys a combine for $65,000 and sells it seven years later for $44,000. What is the depreciation of the combine? So again, first what we want to do is want to graph what's happening. Remember that the initial value that the combine has is what we pay for it, or in this case, what Farmer John pays for it. So here, the initial value is $65,000, K dollars, $65,000. And then seven years later, Farmer John sells it for $44,000. So we find $44,000, which is about here, and then make a point right there. So you can see that in seven years, the value went from $65,000 to $44,000. So this here is called the lost value. So what is the rate of depreciation? And really what I should call here, what I should talk about is the rate of depreciation. Rate of the depreciation. How fast is it depreciated? The total depreciation will be the difference between the two. But the rate of the depreciation will be the depreciation every single year. And so this would then be considered the total depreciation of the combine. So how do we find the rate of depreciation? Well, that's called the slope. The slope tells us how fast it is depreciating. And of course, notice that we use it interchangeably. We talk about the depreciation, so we can talk about the total depreciation. We talk about how fast it depreciates every single year. And notice we tend to use those somewhat interchangeably. So what we're trying to find here is the slope because that's in essence what they're asking for. And it all comes in the equation of y equals mx plus b. Of course, we're going to change the y to a v for value and the x for t for time. So value equals the slope times t plus b. Remember, the slope is the indication of the depreciation, and b is, of course, the initial value. So the slope represents how fast things are depreciation, depreciating. Depreciation. So the definition of the slope, which is what we're looking for, m, which is equal to the slope, which is equal to the drop in value, which is going to be a negative quantity divided by the time that has elapsed. So in this case, the drop in value will be equal to v, the value initial, minus value final, divided by the time that has elapsed. Oh, no, 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 I'll take that back. Take that back, that was an error. It'll be the final value minus the initial value because we want a negative quantity and we divide it by the time. So in this case, that will be 44 minus initial value of 65 divided by the total time elapsed, which was seven years. Where are we? Seven years, that's right. So this is equal to minus 21 over 7, which is equal to minus 3. In other words, the depreciation is equal to minus $3,000 per year. And that is what we're looking for. The value of that combine is dropping by $3,000 every year over a period of 7 years, so the farmer can then sell it for $21,000 less than what this farmer bought bought it for seven years earlier, and that is how it's done. All right. We're done for tonight. Let's call it a day.